guys, I am here for a quick everyday brow tutorial. I'm Barbara Tobert, also known as Styles by B. I've seen a lot of videos and I am sure a lot of people may be discouraged by now because it seems difficult to do your brows, but I'm here for a quick tutorial on brows. I've already prepped my face and everything. You may see that one is already done. This is gonna be an everyday brow. Again, not dramatic, just everyday. First of all, I'm gonna take one of the little beauty pads or little rubber pads. It doesn't matter, whatever, you know, people call it beauty blenders. Just, just get something, even if it's, it's a sponge, okay? Not a rocket scientist. It's the, I just, a lot of the terminology makes it seem so hard. But just gonna put it there on your brows just to make it matte and to give it something to work with. And you can use this uh, color lighter, two shades lighter. It really doesn't matter because you're gonna, you're gonna blend all this out anyway, okay? So just like that. Then, you're gonna take a brow pencil. I simply take one from the, you know, just the beauty supply, just a brown pencil. I like my brows really dark because I wear my hair dark. So, holding the, the beauty sponge, I just take and start to give a shape. And my mirror is over to my left, so you may see my head going over that way quite a bit. So, again, like that. And this is what I consider to be one of the hardest parts, and that's shaping the brow. And I know you can buy the little plastic little guides, but normally I feel it's even more difficult doing it that way because what you do is, is, is makeup. So that means you can wash it off. So don't worry about making mistakes. So you see that here on the bottom, I've made it a little bit longer. And so what you're gonna do is make sure that it's coming up the bridge of your nose there. So, right there, and I make the top just a little bit shorter, okay? After that, then I like to take a brush, just a brush that's gonna be thin enough to fit in between the brows, right? So, and also, this is gonna be, the, you know, non-department store products. This is gonna be drugstore products. So this is, I really don't like to give particular brands because it really doesn't matter what brand of makeup you use if you're applying it properly because you can buy expensive makeup and still not know how to apply it properly. But this is one just a, like again, drugstore. I use, as you see, I like to use two. I like the dark chocolate and the black and I like to blend both. So just take a little bit of both and then I go in and I start filling from right here, you see, and, and some people like to say, oh, brush your hair up first. You can do that if you like, and if not, you can just go right in and start filling in. Again, just a little bit of the brown, a little bit of the black, and feel, 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 until it's all filled in. Just that coloring in the book. Okay? After I do that, I like to go in with the pencil. And I see some people go in with a pencil, and this is a Maybelline pencil. Again, this is gonna be all drugstore, whatever your local, Walgreens, CVS, whatever your local drugstore is. You can buy these pencils there, and the makeup as well. And again, I'm gonna start using it on the black side here, and then down here, because what my brows here, they grow, perfect here and then they just kind of like go down so I just take all of that out and I use just the one from the beauty supply I use blades I don't do the threading some people like to thread but I just go ahead and just shave it off and then I like to go in with the black because again I like my brows dark because I wear my hair dark okay and again once I come here I'm using the side very very lightly now, once I get here, I see where a lot of them say, oh, use the brush, but this is just a brush that came out of an old mascara bottle. Same difference. Okay, guys, don't go out spending a lot of money on makeup, especially if you're not a person who wears makeup every day. Like for me, I wear makeup every day. 
So spending a nice little penny on makeup for me would not be a bad idea. However, if you're someone who you're practicing right now, really not sure what you're doing <laughs> or how to do it quite yet, don't practice in expensive makeup. Practice in the lower end drugstore, okay? Again, I'm gonna go in. So I've got that done. Feel, 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 feel. And again, you can play around with it, go back and forth, and you will never get your brows exactly alike. Remember your brows, people like to say they're cousins. Honey, I like to say they're neighbors. They only live next door to one another, <laughs> okay? Okay, so now to get that lighter part here, I like to use just a concealer. This is LA Pro Concealer. And I'm gonna take some and just squeeze a little bit on the back of my hand. Okay. And, you, and it doesn't take a whole lot, really just about that much on the back of my hand. Can you see that? Now, I'm gonna take an angled brush. Again, don't go out and spend a lot of money on brushes. Angled brush. And some people like to use a straight brush, whichever. I'm gonna show you this brush first, then I'm gonna show you something else, okay? And I just kinda of start light, light, light strokes, light strokes, light, bring it back. And this is the hardest part here, when you're going into that arch. Okay. And I've been doing this for years. And also, I am a makeup artist. I do makeup for hire, mostly for film sets and photography sets. I don't do a whole lot of personal for hire makeup. Okay, that's one way you can do that. Another way you can do this is you can use the tube. And I know people, some people, do, you know, they don't consider it professional to use the tube. However, for beginners, you can actually use the tube. Go right in with the tube. See how easy that is? Go right in with the tube. Put the concealer as close to the line as you want it. And remember, there's no mistake. If you see somewhere where you want to correct, boom, I'll do something on purpose. Oh my God, oh my God. No, mm -mm, mm -mm. look, go back in. You still have product. Swipe, 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 swipe. Boom, fix, right? So don't sweat the small stuff. Go back in, correct it, and there you go. Okay, and after we get the concealer on, I like to drag it down. Just drag it down. Some quick drags, just drag it down, drag it down. Then I like to use the rest of the product on my eye, and that way you can go ahead and start prepping the eye for your eye makeup. And then I'll take the rest of it, like on my finger, and just start putting it there on the eye. And you can use the blender if you like. So many times on my own face, I just use my God-given blender, my finger. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, again, Along the line of your bone or your nose, you want to. I like to pull just a little bit. Come up, just very lightly there, okay. And then across the top, and you're not using a lot of product. You're just kind of like swiping across, giving it just that perfect little arch out there. And you can apply more product. Again, there's no wrong way you see how I did that because I felt like there was too much product okay going on down into the tail and you can make that as big or small as you want some people like to make them really small some people like them really big now as far as blending out I like to use these blend 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 you can just take that product off you're gonna blend it in and you can get, get the face ready for your foundation if you like to wear foundation I suggest 
because I feel like foundation actually protects the skin. And you're gonna go right in the middle. There you go. Now, to finish off, like I said, for just a quick everyday little makeup, I like to use like a sand color. See there, this color here. I have to go in with a brush, get it, and just go in on the end here. Just kind of give it a nice little undertone. And just a little shimmer and bring the product down. And then you can go back in with that beauty blender. Blend it out. Blend, 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 blend. Blend all about blending, all about blending, all about blending. Again, I don't want to see you all out there using a lot of money. And also, I love these. A lot of people don't use them, but I love these, especially for beginners, because it takes you just right in there where you need to go. And again, blending it out, blending it out, blending it out, because it does take a moment to figure out how to use the beauty blenders, especially if you're not familiar with them. And also on the end where I went in and put that like a sand color and go back in with that. And not rub, but just blah, 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 it. Okay? And again, you just keep shaping at those brows until you where you want them. Okay? And then, something else I like to do once I kind of finish them up, I kind of pull up. And pull them up, pull the brows up, pull the hair up, and there you go. There you go. Again, this is drugstore makeup. Until you get comfortable with your brows and how you shape your brows, how you like to do your brows, and I'll come back. And if you like this, give my video a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And I'll come back and have a tutorial about eye makeup, about mascara, and how to take care of the skin just, just in general. So again, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos. And also, go out there and support my hair care product, Robert Ann's Essential Oils. And I'll put more about it in the subscription down below. So take care. I hope this helps someone. Leave your comments in the, in, the, in the box below and I will get back with you as soon as possible. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.